Okay, we're here at the NATO Public Forum, and I'm here speaking to Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Mr. Yatsenyuk is the former Prime Minister of Ukraine and the founder of the Open Ukraine Foundation. Mr. Yatsenyuk, thank you very much for being here. Yesterday, the communique came out from the summit and it articulated the bridge to NATO for Ukraine. I'd like to get your reactions on that, and is it enough? Let me put it this way. I am happy with the deliverables, tangible re- deliverables, that Ukraine already received, starting with the command center established for the Ukrainian military, and then in with the huge pledge to support Ukraine in the long run. So it's important that uh, our allies realize that uh, 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 the best way to secure Ukraine is to provide a necessary ammo for Ukraine, air defense system, fighter jets, and the rest of the stuff. In terms of the language, I am no longer the prime minister, so I can speak freely. (laughs) I care more about actions rather than words. Uh, The best decision I've ever imagined would be to make Ukraine a member of NATO. What's the difference to provide, for example, the definition of bridge or the language of bridge or to hand out uh, uh, an invitation to NATO? At this particular stage, not far. But the distance between these two legal definitions are not really a huge one. That's not a huge gap. So my guess is that uh, the time will come when NATO will have really a historic summit. Mm -hmm. And the historic summit means that there is going to be the 33rd member of NATO. Strong, united, armed, independent Ukraine. The term irreversible is quite prominent in the communique, a lot of focus on that. Does that send a strong enough signal to Vladimir Putin? He doesn't care about words. We still somehow live in the world of signals, mm-hmm. uh, Verbal gymnastics, that's not what is really happening on the ground, on the battlefield in Ukraine. This is the real war. And this real war needs real actions. So I want, I want to turn back again to the real deliverables that Ukraine already received. Yeah. This is the war for the long haul. This is the war of attrition. This war criminal Putin wants to outlast you, us. He wants to outman and outgun us. He wants to kill Ukrainian people because you see what he is doing. The barrage of missiles that hit the maternity ward and children's hospital. It's a clear sign. That's not a sign. It's a clear action that Putin is waging a genocidal war against Ukraine. And he is not the only one. Who is behind the scenes? President Xi. It's China. Who formed the new axis of autocracies and new axis of evil? Iran, Russia, North Korea under the umbrella of China. So we are living in a completely different world. So these folks are posing threat not only just to Ukraine. We are fighting on your behalf. These folks posing the real threat to the free world. So we have to win this war. We have to win this fight. There is no other option on the table. Thank you. You mentioned China. What measures do you think would be appropriate to deal with China's enabling of Russia in its war uh, against Ukraine? I am not a student of China, but I do more or less understand their mindset. There is only one remedy, which is strength. This is the language these folks really understand. 